Let's go, let's go. Now picture this, it's Sunday and you're in the kitchen making dinner. You got Spotify bumping your favorite song, your smart fridge is suggesting new recipes, your Bluetooth speaker is reading you the news, you have the atmosphere perfect for making some good food. And what you didn't even realize is while you're over there staring those Brussels sprouts, someone across town or across the world is watching your network and maybe even listening to your conversation through your TV, through your smart toaster, even through your microwave. And these smart devices that we love for convenience, they are the weakest link to our digital fortress and cybersecurities know it. And now you will too. See, let's be real about it. Most of us don't think twice about our Bluetooth headphones or smart plugs or even baby monitors you can check from your phone. But here's what you don't see. These devices often have no real security, no way to monitor them, and there's no clue who's connected to them. And guess what? They're always listening. Cyber criminals love these devices because they're easy to hack, and once they're in, they're not just watching you, they're reaching your phone, your laptop, your passwords, your life. So what exactly makes these devices so vulnerable, and how do you protect yourself when everything in your house has a microphone on it? <laughs> kind of scary when you think about it, huh? Stay tuned. By the way, do you like Brussels sprouts? Let me know in the comments. I like Brussels sprouts, but they got to be smothered with honey and bacon, but that's just me. What's up, cyber heroes, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clues, internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, but on YouTube, they call me Sherlock Homie. I help you stay 10 steps ahead of hackers, fishers, and sketchy tech companies that want your data more than your money. That's crazy, right? Data is worth way more than money, and they know that, and you should too. So you, I recommend, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the red bell so you're notified whenever I drop new videos every week to help you stay 10 steps ahead of these scammers and hackers out there. Because today, I'm breaking down how these everyday devices can flip from helpful to hacked. So here's what happened to my guy Darnell. Darnell works remote, smart dude, got all the gadgets, the ring camera, the Google Home, the Bluetooth, everything. Even his coffee maker talks to him. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot of this stuff that Dar Darnell has, but I don't have a coffee maker that talks to me. But I do have one that I can order an espresso from my phone in the house. Y'all know about those, uh, those Jiras? Let me know in the comments if you got a Jira. I love mine. Anyway, one night, Darnell, he's watching Netflix, phone on the couch, laptop in the kitchen, when his internet slows way down. We're talking about creepy crawly like you live in a country or something. No big deal, right? He resets his router. The next morning, his bank texts him, new login from an unknown device. Then his emails start tripping. Then his cloud storage. Then his credit card starts to get declined. Turns out, someone got through his Bluetooth speaker, an old one still paired to a phone that he hadn't used in two years. The hacker used that back door into his home network like finding a cracked window in a mansion. And just like that, his smart home became a scammer starter kit. And hey, if you appreciated this little nerd moment and you got an IT background or a little bit of tech experience, if you're looking to pivot into a high paying cybersecurity career, especially in payment security, I want to invite you to apply for my Cyber Hero Elite Mentorship Program. I'll personally teach you how to leverage the skills you already have and turn them into a six figure cybersecurity career without chasing certifications or degrees by becoming a cybersecurity payment specialist. All you gotta do is click the link in the description, check out the case studies, apply to join, spaces are limited, so don't think you have all day. So I know that was a little high level, maybe even a little technical, so let's break this down so you understand exactly what happened, so hopefully it does not happen to you. So here's how this goes down, and this is a step-by-step -step breakdown. Step one, they scan for weak links. Hackers use tools to sweep neighborhoods or public spaces, scanning for Bluetooth devices or open Wi-Fi connections. Number two, they find an entry point. Smart TVs, baby monitors, routers with default passwords, or old paired devices. If it's connected and outdated, it's a target. Once they find this information, they move on to step three, which is exploitation. Once they're in, they can drop malware, monitor traffic, or use your device to hop to more sensitive tech like your laptop or your smartphone because it's typically all on the same Wi-Fi network. And once they're in, 
they move on to step four, which is data exfiltration. They'll grab login credentials, banking information that's stored on your devices, anything that lets them impersonate you or drain your accounts. They will take that information and they move on to step five. They leave without a trace. And it's almost like a ghost. These hackers leave almost with no trace. Your speaker still plays music. Your TV still works. But behind the scenes, your life is wide open because they have access to your personal details. Now let's be real, here's something that nobody wants to admit. These smart devices, they're called smart, but they're dumb when it comes to security. Why? Because companies don't build them for security, they build them to be cheap, connected, and collecting data. Most smart gadgets ship out with outdated firmware, default passwords, and no way to detect if someone's listening. By the way, not only do they ship with these default passwords, but it's literally the same password for all devices. It's built in, it's hard coded. On top of that, we, the consumers, we get sold the convenience over caution. Talk to your coffee maker from your car. Yeah, give the hackers a microphone in your kitchen while you're at it. Bottom line, you didn't do anything wrong. You just bought a gadget, plugged it in, and assumed it was safe. When it comes to protecting your information, your personal data, you can never assume security because most companies are in the process, or should say the place to profit, not secure. But tech companies are not prioritizing features over digital safety, and it's costing people their money, their privacy, and their peace of mind. So the question I hope you're thinking right now is how do you lock down your smart home before it turns into a hacker's playground? Number one, turn off Bluetooth when you're not using it, especially for stuff like speakers, keyboards, the old wireless mouse you forgot was still paired. Number two, update your devices. Outdated firmware is a welcome map for hackers. If the device can't be updated, please replace it. Number three, don't save payment information online. Even if the site says it's secure, use a password manager. If the site asks you your maiden name or date of birth or just to buy socks, like don't do it. Bounce. You shouldn't need that information. You shouldn't have to provide that. Also, secure your Wi-Fi, strong password, no default settings, and keep that router in the middle of the house, not in the window. The reason why, Bluetooth only has a certain distance range it can broadcast, so does Wi-Fi, it's very limited. Also, mute the mic, cover the camera. If your device has a microphone or a camera, treat it like a nosy neighbor. Disable what you don't use and put a little tape on it if you have to. I'm telling y'all, sometimes you have to go to the extreme to protect your privacy. And if this helped, send it to someone's house who's smarter than they are. And if you thought that Bluetooth backdoor was wild, wait till you see the invisible ATM scam that's draining people's bank accounts right now all around the world. Click the video now. See you. Peace.